Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support that you're giving yourself. Being able to uh, recognize the things that you need to change about yourself, enhancing, you know, your spiritual growth or, you know, taking time to be able to heal in places that we really truly need to be healing at and you know heading towards a beautiful journey so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also if you are comfortable enough i would love to get a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction and as well if you feel like the videos just gave you good vibes or even some good information that you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath that are going through some really dark times at right now please go ahead and share and while you're at it Give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. So thank you once again for stopping by my channel and giving me so much love and support and sharing the videos and dropping lines is greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of your video. And today, I'm going to be turning this down it's a little bit loud. Um, the meditation music I'm listening to today, um, it is... Reiki sleep meditation, healing music, energy flow music, meditation music, relaxing deep sleep. And it got all these different numbers. I ain't about to change all that. I ain't about to repeat all that. But anyways, uh, the video today is about Twin Flame 101. Um, ten, twin, ugh, twin Flame 101. Uh, twin, uh, experiencing conflict in your twin flame relationship. You know, it, it's just like our relationship with our TF. It, it can be it can be challenging at times, you know, if you're bumping heads with them, you know, are they ghost you or y'all are just, you know, not getting along right now, not seeing eye to eye, you know, you're trying to get in touch with them and they're ignoring you or vice versa. But it, it's just like, and you're really desperately wanting to go into physical union with each other. And this is like the perfect time for you to be able to work on oneself. You know, while you're doing one thing, they're definitely doing the same thing. You know, it's just like sometimes, you know, we can get into different conflicts. We can try to understand why are things going the way they're going. You know, we can feel very heavily emotional at times and uh, dealing with different situations like that. Uh, dealing with different situations like that it can be very challenging because it's just like you want you love your your twin flame especially if it's in a magic uh magic let me not stop saying magic but uh romantic connection because you know some of your twin flames they don't always have to be in a romantic situation you know i've had uh twin flame is in a sister and we're like we're spiritually connected and we you know in a formal former life you know we were romantic but in this life we weren't and it could it could really be frustrating especially if you're trying to help them heal towards only uh towards certain things you know and trying to allow them to see a lot of things because one twin is sleep and one is awake you know one is you know aware of the things that's going on one isn't you know me and with me and mine my ultimate because i always feel like we got twin souls but then we had the ultimate twin flame it's just you know it's supposed to be right there you know it, it was just like with my situation it used to be conflict because you know i didn't know what was going on in mine i didn't even know anything about a twin flame when i first you know found out about it you know and it was like it took me like took me aback <laughs> i was like in shock like what is the what you know twin flame you know and going through that it can be very frustrating at times but this is that time for you to get ready you know heal you know if you're desperately wanting to be in that union you have to be able to work on yourself being able to be secure in every aspect of your life being able to be okay to where you feel like 
you you don't have to look for them just to be happy you don't have to look for them to you know make you feel complete you know because y'all are you know your already is one as it is it's just that y'all separated in two different bodies and you know it's just like when they say union you're already constantly in union y'all are one in one self it's just split up in halves so it's just like when you're going through these different situations it gives you that time to work on yourself being able to complete yourself without saying you know because with my my dad he used to always come to me when I used to be sad or, you know, he's like, I'm here, I'm here, you know, and at first, you know, I love that, but then I had to stop doing that because it's just like, I have to be, you know, he would, you know, just like a parent, you know, they would come towards you, you know, when you bumped your knee or, you know, when you fell off of something or whatever. And I told him, no, I have to be able to do this on my own. I appreciate the fact that you're doing this, but I have to do this on my own. I can't always look towards you, you know, for looking for happiness with when I need to find that in myself. You know, you can go all the time and go and look for happiness in front of all these other people, but it's never going to satisfy you because you have to find that within yourself. And, you know, if you really feel like you're, you know, if there are some twin flame relationships you're going through and everything is good, I'm so happy for you. And it's just like, if you are having conflict with your twin flame, it's okay because this is all a learning experience that heads you towards, you know, that ultimate union that you desperately deserve so being going through and that going through that you know it gives you that time to heal being able to that time to manifest the things that need to be in your life knowing that you you two can support each other but you're having to find that love within yourself being comfortable with yourself in all different aspects all different levels all different ways being able to com feel complete and that's just like an extra blessing when you want to get into that union because it's just like you know i mean i'm just finding out like recent like about a month ago I think about a month or two ago um finding out about a spiritual union i didn't know nothing about that but then i ended up going through it and it was a really emotional situation but it was very beautiful being able to be i, I guess because since my dad's passed that's the only way i can get into a spiritual union get into that union like that but going through all these different situations being able to know you know he's my supporter he's my cheerleader and i'm you know i am his but i had to be able to be complete about myself you know there's certain things i'm insecure about you know like with us women you know you get older you know had children you know you go through weight gain fluctuate you know fluctuating weight so it's just like me you know my dad's like oh you're beautiful no matter what you're beautifully flawed it's okay but I'm just like me I'm like no I'm not comfortable in my own skin I know what size I used to be and it's just like with me getting older you know I don't put on a little bit of weight I guess because it's like the fact is I don't smoke anymore so you know I gave up all the toxic things so I'm bringing more toxic things you know you drop one habit you're picking up another one so when you're going through these different conflicts with your twin knowing they're you know they're probably feeling the same way you know why aren't they here you know I need to talk to them or you know or they must not want to talk to me or you're scared they're gonna leave you you know sometimes things like that happen you know I've read up on it and happened I'm like <gasps> you know but hopefully that doesn't happen for you but it, it's just like you have to be able to know to read up on things i always read up on my stuff on you know when it comes to our numbers and everything especially if you're synchronizing a lot you know you probably see it you know they're they're around you because you might see their birthday or you know things that remind you of that person it makes you feel all warm inside you might feel them caressing your hand or rubbing your shoulder just to know that you know Things are going to happen. It's just like any other relationship. But this one's a very unique, magical relationship. But, you know, things kind of go kind of, you know, like a usual relationship as well. But it's just up a notch. So being able to be patient and try to heal with those things and understand there's certain things you're going to have to go through. And, I mean, it's not going to be just like a, um, oh, hold on just a second. Uh, when you're going through all these different situations, know that they're working on themselves if you're working on yours. When you can finally say, okay, I'm, is today going to be my union? Is today going to be my union? Or is the next day going to be my union? When you're out there working for yourself and, you know, healing yourself in all different ways so you can be able to go towards the, you know, the ultimate union, the physical union, this gives yourself a time enough to work on yourself on every inch of you. Uh, being secure, being okay, knowing that, you know, if this does not happen right now, I will be okay. And, you know, it can be devastating. Trust me, I know. But when you're working on yourself at that time, 
and it takes you away from you know staring at the clock and seeing if it's, is it going to happen now is it going to happen now when you know you're working on yourself and you know there's conflicts right there you know and you're you know they're working on themselves as well you know it gives you this time for you to heal you know whatever universe is bringing you signs towards you know hey y'all need to work on this or hey you need to work on this you need to work on communication you know um because you'd be able to talk to them uh, telepathically, um, metaphysically, you, you, when you're able to do these things or, you know, even meditate, just call on them. There are certain, you know, um, meditations you can use to call on your twin when you really desperately need to talk to them. If y'all are not in the same physical plane or, you know, on different sides of the world, or you even, you can do a meditation just to find out, you know, if you know there's a part of you missing and you're trying to figure out if you do have a twin flame, there's stuff that you can be able to do like, man, uh, meditate just to find out hey you know do i have one and is do i fit in this category you know and all these things will happen for you you know in divine timing so i hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video um i hope you have a blessed safe weekend i might have videos out tomorrow this is going to be my last video for today um i'm going to do some more exercises and go on my nature walk and go ahead and get me something to eat because i've been eating trail mix all day so i'm eating right now and then I'm going to go on my walk just to be able to, you know, live, level myself out so I don't get sleepy. So uh, I hope you, everybody has a blessed, safe weekend, be responsible and safe in everything you do. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved and knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days. And uh, like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. I would love to give you a shout out on my next video. And um, drop a line. Uh, drop a line, share, give me a thumbs up, and hit the notification and the sub, uh, sub button. I'm giving my post notification shout out to Linda, Carrie, uh, Carrie C C um, Kopnitz, uh, Jesus Lover of My Soul, and Carmela Peterson. Much love to you, many blessings, and I will see you on my next video. I love y'all to death. I might be uh, doing some videos tomorrow. I'm not sure. I'm just trying to see what tomorrow holds. So much love to you. Peace and be wild.